Emperor's elephant was moving forward, leaving behind Delhi's red fort and moving forward towards Agra's red fort. Since Akbar's time, the Mughals managed such a governance that whether the emperor remained in his capital or not, the empire will be operated smoothly. Therefore, the Mughal emperors repeatedly shuffled their capitals to Delhi, Agra and Fatehpur Sikri. Due to the governance established by Akbar, Jahangir and Nav Shahajah not only controlled the whole of India but also controlled about half the Central Asia with the support of King of Marwad, Amir, Bundi and Kishangar. Just as Akbar could not control his son Jahangir, in the same way Shah Jahan could not control his harem and his sons. Akbar and Jahangir were also full of lust, but Shah Jahan broke all the limits. The way he could not control his grown lust, he could not control his prince soaked with power and hatred towards each other and the princesses who also had the greed of power. Now the circumstances had turned and Shah Jahan knew that nothing could be recovered. It seemed to him that the time was coming when his sons will be killing each other and their corpse will be lying on earth. Shah Jahan remembered the times when he killed all his brothers and uncles and their soul used to wander in his dreams. Shah Jahan repeatedly fell ill after he thought of these horrible thoughts. He came to Agra and again fell ill. Despite a lot of treatment, his illness was increasing day by day and it was difficult for him to even stand up. From that day, he stopped Jaroka Darshan. One day, he called all his rich Umrafs, Subedars and Hindu Sardars in the capital and said, I have declared Prince Dara as wali e ahad since the last 25 years. Many decisions of the Sultanat have to be taken instantly, but I am not in a condition to take those decisions. Therefore, you all must consider wali e ahad as the next hire of the Mughal kingdom and only accept his orders. The kingdom's proceedings should proceed as earlier. The news of handover of Sultanat's rights to Dara Shiko had spread not only in Red Fort but also in the capital Agra and all of the Mughal Sultanate. As soon as the king announced Dara Shiko as his successor, the three princes and the princesses became impatient and grew thirsty of Dara Shiko and Jahanara's blood. In Agra's red fort, only Jahanara was happy to get this news. Just as Dara Shiko loved his father Shah Jahan, in the same way, Jahanara also had sympathy for her father Shah Jahan. She understood the difficulties of her father and helped her brother Dara in solving them. Dara Shiko was the eldest son of Shah Jahan. He was qualified, generous, humble and kind. Despite knowing millions of weaknesses of Dara, Shah Jahan kept Dara with himself. While staying in the capital, Dara was familiar with the problems of the Sultanate. He had more administrative experience than any other prince. People also liked Dara as their emperor. Although in that period, the Mughal Sultanate was 95% Hindus and 5% Muslims. However, the intent of people was only from the Muslim population. The Muslim rich was very offended from the fact that 
Dara was as popular among Muslim people as he was among Hindus. Due to these reasons, three younger princes considered their elder brother Dara Shiko as their enemy. They thought that Dara only decides the policies of the empire on behalf of Shah Jahan. He controls the Muslim rich and Hindu kings and sends them away to different fronts to fight. Not only this, Dara had an added advantage of living in Delhi and he took control of all his forefathers' diamonds, pearls, topes, onyx, yakut and gold silver. Dara's biggest weakness was that he did not have any fighting experience like the other prince. His younger brothers wanted to take advantage of this weakness of Dara. Watch in the next episode Aurangzeb, the biggest enemy of Dara Shikoh.